them as it will be for all the teams involved. The, all the underdogs will need to try to get their wins on the board as they get to the pistol and Grim draws first blood knock and current match day. Grary backed up towards the arch side here on the ace site. Arms on the site itself. Great flicks to the head finds Grim with the trade back but doesn't hold on forever. Team Liquid can overwhelm, get to the site and get the bomb plant. Yeah, Vinny just trying to tap through that Moto Smoker for Team Liquid. They've got themselves in a great post planting position. And even for Stewie, this one kill onto Long could be everything. And Glock standing by, right? It's like facing against the Furious side. Grary's making a lot of noise for this. And Stewie finally strikes back, but Grary gets the kill. So three on three. They've wasted a fair amount of time here on the Liquid Defensive. And if they continue to hold them back, then this should be enough. Gary tagged a 20 minute to 70 points of HP. Okay, Serato's looking for his opportunity to swing. And Alish just gets that headshot in. Knows exactly where Vinny is. He's trying to press the issue. Get the headshot on Nap. It's not going to happen. Gary's got it all to do. And it's too much for him to handle. And what's the scary prospect for Liquid is that who are the key individuals we're going to be looking out for? Allege and Naf. Two kills to come from them each in that pistol. And even for Stewie, it seemed like he had a great opportunity of turning that into a 5v2, just working with the sound cues on from that long position, getting traded back. It just came down to the time. And for Furia, once they did set themselves up with the nades and the kit onto the retake, they could not break the crossfire in the site itself. Liquid getting started with a pistol round victory. And for them, they have been fifth in this group, J, for pistol win percentage. They have not been able to get off to some good starts. Hindering them at this stage. First round of the ball to Liquid. Fury up. Hampered by the buyback here in the Eagles. The CZ, the head care blast still coming out here for the CT forces. One defuse kit for Gary still being in. Trying to play a bit more of a supportive role on the Furious side. Might be needing him at some point to go for defuses because Liquid had the firepower advantage. The Mac 10 of Stewie will be able to get so much more than just a kill. Tink down on his own teammate as well. Uh, these MAC-10s looking a farm going into the second round. And for Liquid, taking that early banana contact, forcing the CTs quite passive. Fury have got a double setup out from short. Missed opportunity for Yuri with the Deagle to start off the rounds. Nice attempt. Smokes on for Gary. Busting through with the Galils back on Naf as they just smoke those incendiaries, suppress the common bottleneck angles. No one's watching long here, so Liquid could exploit that position, but even they're being passive about this. Now, Liquid have got many opportunities on what they want to do going into this default. They've still got 45 seconds left on the clock. They can just smoke down Moto, commit towards an A-take, and with no one on long side, you've got to wonder how this crossfire is going to develop up and short. Face into the T side, smokes on the Yuri, sees them all coming, can't get the player on the site. Gary can, Elise trades him back. Yuri lines up two, Fallen takes it to 2v2, and the bomb goes down at the shutter doors. The retake is on to Furia. And they've got to go for this. 2v2, yeah, it's going to take some time for them to get into rotating positions. This has to be the situation where they say to themselves, let's risk it, let's go for the retake. I think that kit was dropped ahead of the haystack as well, so they can also grab a little bit extra time if they can just overextend the site. We'll have to get the kills on Elysian for them regardless. Boost up as case of have been seen. You'll see Elysian, you'll get that headshot, so it's all in the Mac 10. An all Brazilian round in the 1v2. Deagle out, swings on, and case Serato domes him. Art gets on the diffusers. Case Serato looks for the kit in the AKs. Probably should find it, pass that AK off to his teammate, and there should just about be enough time, even without that kit, for the Furious side to take the second. A beautiful round coming in from Kay Serato, and it all just comes down to not slowing it down too far. Being able to get the boost up to the left side of Moto, over the top of the smoke, Elite just gets domed, and they just work together in that 2v1. Fallen's alone out from Pit and for Furia. What a beautiful return from them. Just what they were looking for. Yeah, very nicely done. And now the Eagles, the 2v2, they went for it, so ultimately able to maintain that control. Liquid forced out of the force by. They did get the bomb plant bonus. So Deagle's AKs. All the regular work coming in for them. And cannons and all but the orb of art has other plans. And the leash will be dropping for it. Great start. Hey, you've got to wonder as well with the AWP in play, how Fury are now going to be able to set himself up. Art going to rotate back over to the B site, rotate in with K Serato to A. Uh, for Liquid, that is not the start they were looking for at all. Even this XM for Guri that's playing out on the short position, just looking to try and get as much money as possible. And the smoke's on towards that long control, trying to indicate they've got more presence in brackets than the CTs really know. It's all a ruse though, they're trying to break back into Banana and Arts just not having any of it. Shot on the second player, Fallen Court, looking for Stewie. Oh, timing's off for the AWP. Could have caught that frag, takes a lot of damage instead. Uh, still staying posted, not just falling back to the site. And for Furia, even with a 5-on-3 advantage, they're still trying to put pressure on and top banana. 
One player at Sandbags playing anti flash Dewey. Oh, his head's been seen. He baits in the shot from Martin Lee, but they're not ready for the Mac 10. Awkward sprays come together for Vinny regardless. And Naf gets that trade back, has the AK now to work with, but up against the AWP, Art knows is coming sometime. And still Naf can get that trade. Secondary kill back for him, no further than that. And for Liquid, there's no back and forth nature. They're not able to win the four, so they're going to have to be on a pretty light Glock round going into round four. And for Furia, you have a look at that situation. You've got a five on three. Yeah, they bait out the Orpa. The Mac 10 out from Sandbags to follow up with a couple of kills is just so important to use that information, continue the numbers game in their favor. And Liquid, they started well with the pistol, haven't been able to bounce back since then. And now another eco rounds for this T side. And Furia delay the gun investment for the time being. They've still got themselves the guns. Not with the AWP, unfortunately. Lost in the B site. So the M4s, SMG, and an XM are coming out for Gary. Playing on that A side defense in the apartments initially. It's pressure from Art that goes up towards Banana. Comes the main focal point of this defensive and Liquid. Are they going to read it? Well, apparently not. Two kills in the Vinny instead as he steals a couple away. Art can get a double, so he gets most of the money out of this round. And Fury will win that third to go into the gun round with a bonus. I uh, wonder for Liquid in terms of pace, are we going to see a change up at all? Taking some early apartments control or up to brackets very early. I've seen the AWP come back out from up and try and get that investment forward and see if he can work with it. Even with the buy back for Liquid, they're going into a rifle investment. They're still going to be rocking three Galils to get that extra util forward. Yeah, not a massive amount of firepower here for Liquid. Cindy is on towards top mid. Taps of Caserato bursting on towards Fallen's head and kicking things off very early in the fifth round. Arts Orb looking to follow it up towards that top mid position. He sees another man, but doesn't quite connect the frag. Liquid giving a bit of a lifeline in that respect, but have still lost their IGL. Uh, playing with a lot of positivity so far from Furious. Some aggressive moves, trying to take that early confidence forward with them. Even Vinny facing out quite wide onto Stewie towards top of Banana. And Liquid have been able to gain a fair bit of map control. They haven't been able to find a frag back, and Stewie's even just burning. Bought by a flashbang, wasn't aware till far too late. I'm not 100% sure how, sure how that kill came in, but still going to be a 5v3 regardless for Fury up. Team Liquid probably would be thinking about themselves here. Vinny. So far, falls forward, and Grim has absolutely no idea. If he hard checks it, that might be worth it. The M4 could catch two frags instead. They do hard check it, but still he gets his headshot at least there with a trade. The rotations are going to be slow out from the B side. Now might even be able to catch off A. This could bring the bomb back, and now Fury is starting to get scrambled. Still got two players over on that B side, and Elise will start rotating out. Further utility put up by Naf might indicate that it is going to be the A site hit, so Kesarato is going to go ahead and join Art here. Orp towards sight, firing away, giving up his positions. So Naf could find a backstab if he can catch Kesarato at the right timing here. AK sees him instead and he doesn't even check the arches. So now Alij in the 1v3. Has the bomb on his back, smoke still up against the AWP. So can go for a safe default plant. But that might be everything he gets in this round. Yeah, Art's walking forward. Bomb flat's going to be the extra cash injection. Take the fight out from Lively. Needs to adjust back over to what? the Orpa and now gets it back to a 1v1. No way, Alish. 2 HP for him. He's got to get a perfect tap on Yuri's head. He sees him! Oh, he's done it! Quadra out for Alish! You highlighted him for good reason, and that's the reason right there. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that comes forward. Liquid should have had no right winning that round. The one trade that comes up from Top Banana brings it back to a 2v4. Guri gets caught off from that short position by Naf, and things just start working together. Out from Arch, Naf gets caught. The 1v3 comes through from Elige. The missed AWP shot coming out from Art, not connecting onto the site itself. Liquid, pull off a miracle. And the liege isolating every frag, causing that miracle to be reality. What a play. What a way for Liquid to kickstart the gun rounds. Furious, don't have the bonus round involved in that, but that might all turn to Jello. Stewie kicks things off on Vinny. Art's AWP thinking there might be flashbangs inbound. They're nading him down to 72 points of health. He's desperate to get a trade, but the shot's a bit too far away. He does see the feet, seeing the shoulders. Can't catch the frags, and now Caserato takes some damage. They've got him incendiary here to fall back. Yeah, Art is so trapped in the sandbags position. Case Rado might be able to bait and try and pull the distraction away. It's the damage that's already been done. Vinny down low, Case Rado tagged. Art's even lower. Yeah, Art's going to escape. Out towards Cross at the very least. Fall back passive into the B site for the retake here. Five on four for Liquid. Advantage for the execution. If they can overwhelm Art, that's just a bonus here. 
Uh, AWP is waiting for a jump up, any sort of sound cue out from the B side, even falling back to CT. He's got no support whatsoever. Smoke on the cross, flashbangs inbound. Nades up instead, I'll try to swing ahead of the game. Sees the shoulder bait and still gets a tag shot onto Grim. Rotations are still slow from Fury. They still think it might all be a ruse, but as this bomb goes down, we'll start to realize otherwise, and Art recognizing that there might not even be a retake on the table. He's gonna save the AWP. It just seemed a hard gamble. And even if Art gets one kill through the smoke or even before it blooms and they turn into a 4v4, just the positioning from Furia on where they were on A, they were never going to be interested in it. Art had to do something special if they wanted to start rotating players over. They already had that call in mind before the execution came through. If they go B, we're saving. Liquid the follow-up there, opening rifle round with a follow-up rifle round. Fury with a smart call to hold on to the double orb setup. Unfortunately, they couldn't get that M4 back from Vinny. He pushed too far up Banana. Okay, so Raj is going to have to settle with a UMP for the next buyout. Should be seeing Vinny also on a rough weapon state for the Furious side. What was a very solid start with the pistol and the conversions or the stolen Valor in that respect. Now it goes back to Liquid to even standing. And Famas will be in for Vinny in this one. So it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. I gotta wonder, when are we gonna see some more freedom coming forward with aggressive jewels from Furia? Because in the early portion of this map, that's where they were finding a lot of success, moving forward down from mid, out from Banana itself. These last few rounds, they haven't quite gone for the same sort of plays. Force up, Art into position. Some Yaris and Smokes to be so close, the flicks not good enough. Kill comes in easy for the T side, and still Stewie gets aggressive with the smoke. The smoke criminal himself, but doesn't go so far as a triple. Okay, Serato gets his trade in and keeps things under control for the most part. It's still liquid with the advantage. Absolutely wild stuff coming through from Stewie, getting legged up by the AWP and just getting that opening man advantage. Rather than falling back, just continuing to over aggress. Vinny's got no idea that's going to come through. At least they trade back to hold some semblance on the B side. And for Liquid, not even a minute on the timer. And they've already got an advantage and they're starting to get map control out from brackets. Very playing anti flash with that AWP. And peek back in towards the short position for and set with the oh, on angle, gets it. Now leaves it on Yuri as the last man to the site. Can he hold off against the entire T forces? Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, great patience to come through from Liquid, just slow it down after the early chaos out from Banana. Yuri gets away with one kill, put a smoke down, and the rotation just isn't coming at all. Kesarada is going to be able to hold onto a weapon that gets dropped in top Banana, so at least there's something being saved forward into the next round. And for Liquid, now they start to gather room. Now they're starting to gather momentum. You know, stumbling in the first couple of rounds, and now back in full control. Liquid are going to take the lead here on T side. Fury hashtag to the back foot on the score line and with the money game. That was a force invest round with two rounds of loss bonus. The third one will not stack up to a third force up. I mean, they might want to try to do it to get the AWP not to be completely alone, but that would be ill-advised, I think, especially with Liquid keeping three players in. The money should be pretty great for the T half. So Fury, probably best to just eco around this AWP. Uh, money is starting to be built up. You're getting into a position where Caserado can drop... An M4, Art can buy himself. It's just, is that risk there? Just half buy it. You know you're going to get 2,900 loss bonus in the last round. So invest enough that the AWP has support, but not too much that you're just wasting your money. A scout will come in for Art being the best weapon they invest in this round. Deagle's out for everybody else. Not a lot of Kevlar as well. Ourselves in a standard as Gary tries to boost that AWP, become the table. And they enable this particular round to come together. They've seen the head of the first man fallen, however. Take the orphan straight up jewel. A crack angle pass broken will get K Serato. Yuri falls to Nathan, although the leg shot's not going to get landed by the sniper rifles. Unfortunately, it won't be anything else. The kills are pouring in for Liquid. And when you think about Furia, their edge, their advantage in this matchup could be the Orb v Orb Jewels. And so far, Fallen has just been decimating the Orb v Orb Jewels. Furia have not been able to find much success at all. Furia at the back of the B-side just going to hope to try and do anything. Raven catches Gary, Vinny, all alone. Deagle out. 
Pace again and hoping for something over on this B side as the T side players swarm A, knowing that the last CT player is well out of position. Get that plant down to see if Vinny can get the exit. Not going to happen. There it is. Liquid. Five to three. Inferior have the guns now. Now, what maybe some people wouldn't recognize in that round, why is Grim on B when the bomb's been planted A? He doesn't want them to pick up the AWP again. He's sitting there out in new box. He says, if I die, okay, we'll get the information. We'll just start rotating players over. They want to make sure that Vinny's dropping, so they have to reinvest into that AWP, and Gary's going to do exactly that into round nine. Look at the economy state, though. He's going glass cannon. He can't afford any armor. Going to hinder him, probably. I must imagine it must do. Tarn case for either take the aggressive face towards Banana. They've loved looking for Banana Control to make the basis of this CT side. Damage done early to the AUG as he pushes up aggressive. It's past the old arch position. A smoke somewhat keeps the pressure involved against the T-half and Liquid just won't even bother with this. They'll just play towards mid and second. Yeah, they're not interested. They say, yeah, take Banana. We'll retake it later into the round. Gary out into the apartments hasn't been taken a jewel as of yet. Liquid starting to use their util to take back brackets. Molotov's on towards that long position. Gary trying to get baited. Stewie jumping, giving up the gun barrel. Not an opportunity to get the AWP uh, tag in. He'll still wait there. No one's watching apps, though. I think Yuri just looked to position. The reposition from short itself. Could still go up a pixel angle. Nobody in the end gives it up towards the A site. Meanwhile, the flash over catches Art completely blinded. Had nothing that he could do in that position. Yeah, it's unorthodox to be playing in front of the broken ball like that. And if you're getting flashed, you are pretty much just dead instantly. Great swing coming in from a couple of the banana players. It could be a slight ruse and a slight fake to start drawing rotations over. Furia, though, they're not rotating members to be. Finally, Vinny's thinking about making the call. And Bomb's still outside the apartment, so Liquid probably going to have to go ahead and commit to this. A site still has two players, the AWP and an M4. Gary's got to get the shots in, misses the first man. Naf. Flashbang in against Yuri, he'll evade it, still catch that player up in the balcony, first strike, bam, fall in there with a trade, and Gary's caught completely blinded, cowering in the corner of the site. And dead to right to the hand of Liquid, a six to the board of the T-side, Fury up. Wow, it did look good after the conversion came in, but ever since that point, and of course with the prior Ricos after the fact, Liquid has just looked lights out. Yeah, they have. They look really composed. They're reading the game well. They're scrambling, Furia. And whenever you don't have a complete lineup and you've got to stand in, whether it's your coach or whether it's a substitute or whatever it may be, there are going to be setups on CT side of weak points and over hesitation. And for Furia, we've seen countless times where they've just been caught, caught sleeping on bomb sites itself, over rotating players when they don't quite have that information. And for Liquid, in terms of their individual prowess, they are looking sharp on the server today. Yeah, they really are. Naf and Aliz leading the charge, but everybody else is pretty even. I mean, they've never seen a perfect set of numbers right there. Your two stars are sitting at eight frags, and everybody else is at half of that. Liquid mostly pulling the wagon at an even distribution of work. Everyone's playing their part. Fury are struggling to deal with it. The half buy in with the two safe weapons of the M4 to case Serato and Gary. And this should look like a uh, difficult time ahead of them. Very, very difficult time indeed. Case Serato does get that first frag at least, but Lee's so quick to the trade. Uh, Yuri, a bit slow to come out from the apartments, and he's already given up the ghost. They know exactly where he is. Could take a bit of time for them to be able to start moving in, and even Stewie just committing to a fight for Vinny for Top Banana. Vinny! Oh. Okay, Yuri gets away with a bit more. I don't know how he got that AK, though. Now working with it here in the four versus three, the T's have lost the man advantage thanks to those two kills in mid, Yuri. Back turns, and Lee's going to catch him for it, so that AK drops quickly out of favor. Art now grabs the mantle of the M4. Of course, Vinny was tagged so early. Now set with the CZ. Backing over the way over towards the A side defense as Art tries to play behind his banger position, the stack angle. Two T-side players creeping up silently. He's got to catch vision on both, and he only gets so much damage. The aim punch throwing his aim completely off. Gary's Mag 7 doesn't get anything either. What was looking like a porosic start there for Fury is going to fall apart at the end of the round as Liquid will look for the Heavenly 7th. They can see the round. Hey, you're right about that. That did look promising for a moment, and uh, there could be a bit of a way that Vinny still denies the bomb if it does go over to the A side. Not going to happen at all. A leech could drop, so it could still be quite an expensive round to come into the Ds. 
And just overall, that whole round of where Art is playing from top banana alone, if he was back further uh, out towards CT cutoff or from the coffins, he could just jiggle peek, get information and start rotates. Because he was so aggressive and got dealt with so quickly, there's no way the A players are going to get there in time. Now being just set to hold on to that AK, grabbed it in the apartments. Makes it flag to leave a little bit of damage on the board of the liquid economy stay, but with the money being where it is right now, and damage at this stage is negligible. Could come up to decent effect later on, but for now it shouldn't lead to a reset of the liquid side. Furia should find the AWP in the end, so even better for the safe investment and for them. It's all about their own economy. Max lost bonus of an AWP to lead the charge. Should be seeing the rest of the major rifles coming out. And what's been the talk of the town here for the CT side? How are they going to fix those mid and late rounds? Once again, going aggressive into the banana control. And if Liquid could just evade getting the opening kill against their name, then by all accounts and how the things have worked out for them, how the round pacing has gone their way, they should be able to maintain control because of that. They've actually found an opening pick on Gary. Aggressive in, out of the round very quickly to 5v4. Now, this is so much quicker from Liquid in terms of the early contact. Gary just peeking straight into the orb. Gamble rotation out to the A side. Fury are going to risk it all. Might as well. They're seeing nothing over towards Banana. But again, Liquid have just considered that side of the map to go back into it later. They've done that so many times so far. The orb of Art still looking for a pick. If they lose a casualty here in brackets, then it most certainly will be that bomb hitting the B side. But instead, they just keep feeding themselves up to fall. And another good kill on that short face. Vinny. Caught next. Jeez, Fulham's having such an easy game on T-side. He's not getting flashed. He's not getting jiggled. They're just slow walking into him. He's getting more and more out for it. Art. All upset, trying to get a trade here in Banana. Smoke's on cross. He sees the man. He's way too late to the reactions, though. Smoke blooms. They cross back. Blind firing. No scopes. It's not connecting to anything here. He can't really get anything out of this. He's one plug. What will be another round for Liquid, they'll take the T-side half. Now, even Naf is going hunting out to the A-side. One weapon could make all the difference. Yeah, you've got the max round loss bonus in from Furia. Got to wonder as well, with Elige coming into the mix, are any of these CTs going to drop? Semi-likely here, especially if they can just bait and switch with the trades. Oh, good shot from Art, does find Stewie. Now the rest of the team members can try to regress him. Here in the library control, they are aware of pit and sight. If they give them the wrong moment, there could be some catches against their name. And actually, Art gives up an angle towards the lead. Yuri going to catch off Naf. I think most of the CTs will stay in. Great placement from these guys. And they actually keep themselves relatively close together. Fallen cannot get the trades. So the AWP can stay in. And again, Liquid can find the eighth. And the concern for Furia is on Inferno, they haven't played it a massive amount in this pro league. They played it up against Team One earlier on. They got. An overtime victory. That was actually the second map. Their map pick up uh, against the Brazilians. Nine rounds on that CT side was what just got them over the line to bring it into OT. And against Gambit, they just got absolutely slapped on CT side, which is kind of the same result of what's happening here in the first half. Yeah, Liquid looking fantastic. Furium far lesser so. I think that much is obvious at this stage. Might be hoping for a T-side half for them, but even that statistically is pretty unlikely. In general, this map has seen some pretty heavy losses for them, even at the Tier 2 level when they had a 16-4 against Skade here against Liquid. When you've seen stats like that, you're not too shocked to see a scoreline looking like this. Damage was done early to Elysian Stewie, at least, so the rifles doing some work for Furia, but no opening kills, most certainly nowhere near a round itself. Nav leading up this boost position over a quad. Yuri can't find that frag at last. Flashbanging against his position, however. Got to put that nade in escape. Uh, working hard for that opening duel. Liquid having the indication that he's playing up there from top porch. Grim's got to get flashed over to allow his feet to come forward. Ark get a secondary kill onto him. Smokes up for the CT side. Counter smokes in. On from the broken wall. Deagle facing forward and fallen. And just spamming his way, hoping he can catch somebody in the back lines. But no such luck. 35 seconds, and Stewie 
Presses forward, there's not some case right here. And Cubby, he swings out anyway, sees them. Both sprays a little bit awkward on the second man. Still trying to push him back into the short control. And Nade and such trying to get him at least a little bit of cover to cross back here. Fallen's Orp keeps him held into this corner. He's just wasting time and still finding picks as the bomb and the Orp gets dropped. This all on the Legion of one versus five. As great as Liquid have been in this map up so far, Fury have found a really good round and Caserato a really good hold. Uh, just what we want to see from him, just starting to come into his own, starting to really explode up. And it all started with that boost up, up on Porch, getting that opening advantage. Grim just swinging out from top banana. Util is very dry. Liquid don't have a lot of it left. And just individual picks offered and for even that hold to come out from the long cubby corner. Perfection for Caserato. Nicely done. He's set in with the opening frag. Juvie's here in this round. One of three AKs that Furious saved on the back of that hold. Liquid. Sitting in the default state. WP picking for Fallen. That just misses this chance and burns alive with Yuri's bullets to finish off the job. Can tank a little bit of damage from the nade. Just escapes the apartments in time. Liquid get desperate to get that trade back. Yeah, Fallen having enough of that antics from Fury in the last round, wanting to go aggressive in the apartments, take that opening jewel, and instead it goes the other way. Great utility usage for Fury to put the double incendiaries down into Art. Art out for Banana, can't quite hit the shot, gets tagged up, doesn't fall. Fury takes some damage to response. Fury up, giving up in his position, he's flash blind and eventually sprayed up by Stewie. He wraps around with the AWP of Art becomes the lone man standing here on the B side. Backup is on the way in a four versus four. Liquid have a nice take out of sight so long as they can overwhelm the big green. Yeah, I've got to wonder, are they just going to flash him off from that one flash that they've got from Stewie or just try and jiggle peek? Oh, it's the flash. Second one comes in. Cindy is back and tries to damage up the player here at the Shire. And then Paul's got to start swinging. AKK Serato goes massive again. Naf there with a trade. But now he's the last man standing, up in his hands, getting back to Dark. And now looking for the last two Furia players, both coming in from CT Spawn. Caserato may have just done enough, may have become the hero. It's all up to his teammates to finish the job. Is there another clutch in this man? Set back up here, waiting for the Diffuser to get tapped. And Furia having kits, no util, no info that they can gain. The wall is now for the swing out, lands his shot on Gary. And Yuri's got to hunt for the kill real quick. He's taking his time with this, not giving up the info, but that might lead towards Nap the victory. And indeed, he gets his own triple to win the round for Liquid. Jeez, Liquid in these clutches. What a round again for them to start pulling it forward. A lead a few rounds ago. Naf now doing his own thing. And just that whole round just being played right down to the book. Get the bomb down. Play out from Dark. Caserato making such a play. Aggressing through the coffin smoke. And Naf gets two kills of the orb. Wins the 1v2. Fury are some of these rounds that feel so close for them, but they can't pull it through. And I feel so bad for Caserato in that case because he really did so much to bring that round back. Now his first casualty are ready for Stewie, at least can trade it. Knowing that Fallen's up there somewhere at all. Meanwhile, on the A side, Guerrero's seen a little bit of presence and Molotov smoke back to suppress the T side and the brackets control. Elige holding himself out. Back turn towards Quad. Allows Gary at least that one kill. So four on three again. Fury get the advantage. Can they hold it this time? Well, they know that he's gone back into the side. They've got a Molly to put out to Pin. Yuri doing damage. Naf there with a responsive. Now Gary's the last man standing. The CT, the fast rotate back into this. Molotovs, no standing on top of the box. Yes, they are. Gary's got to swing out wide. Try and look for Fallen, but the Deagle in the orb chimes in real quick to the back and front lines. And now Art tagged up on that B site initially. Now looking for the 1v2 clutch. Orp in hand, no info on Naf. Flashbang turns into that short control. And the head of the last T side player not sticking out. Fallen's orb going to keep his eyes on. Will he see the gun barrel? Will he see any information to him? Art oh, trying to bait out his man, get his shot. No info on Nap, and therefore Nap can win the trade. And it looks like such a well-oiled machine here on the liquid side. 10 now to the board of the T-half. And that was a great chance of Furia converting. When you think about the position they put themselves in, Yuri peeking out into Grim, dropping him out from Pit, and then just the molly placement that comes through onto Gary on the site. He's got to push forward. Fallen gets the ore pick in library and the Deagle up close. Liquid, they are making some incredible individual plays. Everyone is performing on this T-side line. We're looking for 11-4, which probably might just seal the map right there, and then still got a second half to play, but for Furia... It feels like it's just too much of liquid to handle. 
M4 Zin, AWP is out, Wallbangs attempts it as Yuri tries to dive down to the apartment's entrance. Great flash in from Gary, but Nap is so ready for it. Still catches the headshot, evades most of the blindness. And Vinny caught by Stewie's peak. Blind is anything as well, dry as anything. 5v3, Case Serato top of the boot from Stewie Reed. This, not quite. It's okay, Serato can get a trade, but his backup is so far away and he's got to hold off against everyone from Liquid. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, both players up on the A side. Even rotations is going to be slow. Naf making his way forward. Hasn't been able to see the short players as of yet, making the noise. AWP is going to return, and Fury up. Well, they've got to go for it. No kits in this. Smoke HG for Gary. The Orb of Art looking down into the banana position. Going to give a bit of covering fire for Gary. Shots out the broken wall, trying to look for some close range T side players, but so far, so little has been gained. Making a lot of noise to this. They should be realizing soon this is all going to be a banana take. Fallen set on the fountain. Time has run short. Team Liquid holding it off. Fallen does go down, but it's all for enough time here. Gary call back of a spray. Elise makes it a 2k. Up after the fact, Liquid won 10 out of the past 11 rounds. Julie's in for Elise. Set with Nafsi SP again. Those two leading the charge on the kill counts for Liquid. And now having a many a brilliant moment in that first half. You can imagine there may be some more left in him in the second. It's Liquid. He's Stewie as the defender over on that B site. Smokes on the cross and Coffins, and they have got Naf pretty close to position to allow him to cross five from the CT spawn. It's all going to rest on the execution base as they all make their way in. Furia heads back, turns towards the back of the site. Flash bangs in when the CT forces will keep Stewie at bay for now. Gets the shot in on Gary and opens up the half with a headshot. And a second. Peeking at Yuri, seeing that bomb on his back here. Desperate for the kill, and he comes up with a triple. Grim now swinging up with a fallen and a liege. And combined forces to get 12 to the board of the CT. Side. Jeez, that was such an incredible setup for Liquid. So Stewie's playing alone on B, out from Nubox, and Grim, and, 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 I should say Naf, out in CT Spawn has got a flash and a couple of smokes. Now he puts the first smoke down to distinguish the molly, and then flash over the top, and then Fallen that's on rotate as well has got a couple of flashes to work with. So for Stewie, he's playing B alone, however he has all the support in the world. Well, a great round from Liquid. A start followed up by a not-so-great incendiary. Not like I think it will matter too much on that B site because Fury are not pressing Banana at all. They don't want it. They'll go put Vinny up in the apartments and the Glocks set in for the most part. A couple of Deagles for Yuri and Case Serato. Might be the right player to set up with the hand cannons at this stage, especially Case Serato leading the charge for his team and tying up the top fragment of Liquid as well. He himself had some big moments for now. We're going to extend his own kill count by tying up all three players in the lead. 15 for him now. $600 gain on the SMG bonus. Stewie's also there to provide backup. Nah, falls away. Yeah, Fury are just hoping to do as much damage as possible in a round where they've got a couple of upgraded pistols. And Liquid just quite far back, defensive, not taking aggressive duels at all. And you'd have to imagine that for the North Americans, a very simple 13th is going to come. No reason not to assume so. Stewie takes the SMG in against Yuri, gets even more money out of this round. Two more players in brackets. Stewie drops the bomb of Brary. First fire on the third kill. And gets the quadra overall. 13 to the board of Liquid. Fury out. Should have a buyback. And in terms of confidence for the Brazilians, when you think that this is such an important game for them to win, to try and secure the life of going into the playoffs, yes, this isn't your map pick, when you're up three to one and then you're down four to 13, confidence has just got to be taken away from you completely, surely. Must imagine so. Again, there is the consolation prize. This isn't their map pick on the Furious side. Liquid wanted to go to Inferno and rightfully so. They are making this one look so easy. Maybe Furious best side will be over on that second map of Luke. It might have to be at this stage, 13 to four. Domination on another level here for the Liquid side, and just continuing to extend what has been a fantastic season for them in Pro League. Molotovs, nades, incendiaries, wherever you want to throw them here, there, and everywhere for Fury as they try and force some sort of mistake, but they're just taking more and more damage. Yuri having two players to find here with a long control, trying to bait out Naf at the flower beds. Scout of Fallen may have already seen him. Grim just waiting for contact.
Uh, good looking crossfire on this CT side out for Brackets. Have a period. They want to take it quite dry. Naf does swing out, and so do the rest of the CTs to gain themselves a 4v3 and force Fury to take Banana and lean over to the B side. Yeah, one kill with the SMG means bonus money in this bonus round for Liquid. Flashes into the CT side of Stewie's for Mars now takes point on the defensive. Elige backed up a CT spawn. Great flash in for him to allow Stewie to get the kill and the dig down on Kay Serato. Gary caught with the bomb out. Okay, Serato dead to rights to the hands of the AUG. Triple up for Elige. AK's recovered in all. Hell of a bonus round for Liquid. 14-4. And it's even things like that. Miss CT smoke on the cross. Gap in the left-hand side. Elise just punishes. Gets a couple of kills. And for Liquid, their most one-sided map performance in the Pro League so far actually came yesterday from Team 1 on Mirage, where they had an 11-4 turn on their CT side to end up being 16-8. to Well, I'm looking at Inferno right now thinking this could be so much more one-sided than 16-8. to Well, half by from Fury almost guarantees at least a 15-4. to Oh, nade stacks, easy for Stewie. Gary caught first, Curie caught second. Art can trade it at least with the Mac 10. And now, should be easy picking for him. His teammate's gonna wrap him for the backstab, even the spray through the smoke. You just can't stop this liquid side, no matter what you do. AK in the hands of Kaserato, but his back 10 caught off by Naf. Continues to spray as Kaserato can land a secondary kill for his team, but it doesn't even last that much longer. Naf with a trade. And it will be a map point for Liquid. This one could be over real quick. Yeah, and it seems like it's coming down to a mental game. Liquid just all over them completely in every department possible. Fury up just so flat. And after the start they had, the aggression, the confidence, the opening picks, it, it really, it felt like there was something coming here on Inferno. It felt like we were going to have just a bazanza here on map one. And instead, it's, it's been the complete opposite. Liquid, one more round to go, and they could close it right here. Must be encouraging for NIP as well, knowing that Fury are the main team that stands between them and the playoff position. Great shots in the Vinny fall and can trade it very quickly. Of course, over on that mainstream, NIP are up 11 to 9 against Gambit on Ancient. So they're currently doing a decent job of holding their own chances. Fury, the same cannot be said for them. Two for one trade, Liquid. Only three more frags, two more frags away from the victory here. And Gary and Yuri just should just get shot out of this. Uh, you'd have to imagine so. Fallen with the orb. He's still aggressing. He wants more. Imagine. Oh, not looking good for Gary. Four frags for Fallen. Imagine him making it the ace. Yuri. AK backed up in the mid control and Fallen to close it in such a great fashion. He can't see his man. Has no idea just yet. All a case of timing. Will he really rest the man? Yes, he will. Take some damage. Does not take the shot back. And it will be grim.